I've made the front bumper, the headlight assembly and the wings secure so I can start moulding to them. Uh, you can see where I've made just simple brackets down here, both sides, simple brackets for the headlight. Um, I've spaced them out with washers and trying to get them exactly square either side. I plan to sculpt the entire car before I actually pull any panels or make any panels off the car. So the first thing I'll do is make the top, the arch for the front wings, just the top, and that will actually be blended into the bumper alignment. So that will be the first piece to the puzzle. Mounting the bumper so much further forward means I can have a nice aero line that runs around the front of the bumper up over the top of the arches. The top of the arches will look something like so. The rear part of the arch will be 100mm wide and the front will taper off to 75mm. Now I'm making these out of PCV plastic. These are the templates and the bits that will go on the car to make the base for the mould will be made from aluminium sheet. <laughs> So these 4.8 mil rivets aren't up to the job, they're moving around a little bit so I will need to replace them for probably M4 nut and bolts, um, they're a bit more liable. The next thing to do is to take out the lip on the top of the bumper, um, the same either side, there's just a slight lip so I'll smooth that off so I have a flat surface to work from.
how wide to make the wheel arch itself. Deciding now how high to make the cut in the rear part of the arch. I did have it a bit lower down, but I think um, I'm going to have it somewhere around that mark. Subaru roof skin is no longer for sale on eBay. Um, just want to check they're exactly the same by the side. Before I can put this wing on, I need to make a bracket to hold the bottom of the um, arch to the inner front bumper. <laughs> This particular arch style is a rendition of the Polo WRC car, however I do want to change it slightly. I was going to have a, a flat cut off at the back of the arch, but now I've decided I'm going to have an angle cut off, something like that, um, which will give it a slight um, difference to the Polo WRC. And I like that angle kind of replicating the curvature of the front where it meets the front top of the bumper. So if I can get those two angles similar, I think it will look quite uniform. I need to strengthen the panel to stop it bowing when it's um, time to take a mould. So the next thing to do is to make a uh, liner, a thin liner that goes along the inside of the wheel arch just to give it some strength and rigidity when it's on the car. Mm -hmm. 